Always wanted to create your own isometric grid, but never knew exactly where to start? Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck, since in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you how you can do just that in both Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I'm Andrew, and you're watching an Envato Dust Plus tutorial. Assuming you already have both software running in the background, bring up Illustrator and let's jump straight into it. We're going to start by setting up a new document, by heading over to File, New, and then setting both its width and height to 800 pixels. Once we have our project file, we can select the Rectangular Grid tool, which can be found within the left toolbar, right underneath the Line Segment tool, and then use it to set up a custom grid by simply clicking anywhere within the document. The Rectangular Grid Tool Options window should appear, where we're going to set both the horizontal and vertical dividers to 30, and then hit OK. Depending on the size of the project, you can always adjust the number of horizontal and vertical dividers, just make sure that they're always equal. As soon as the grid is visible, we're going to want to center align into the artboard using the Align Panel's Horizontal and Vertical Align Center options. Next, we're going to use the SSR method, which stands for Scale, Shear and Rotate to turn this simple grid into an isometric one. Start by right-clicking and then heading over to Transform, Scale, where we're going to use a non-uniform value of 86, 0.602% for the vertical input field. Next, we're going to apply the shear by right clicking and then going to transform shear where we're going to set the shear angle to 30%. Finally, we're going to rotate the grid by right clicking again and then heading over to transform, rotate and then using a minus 30 degree angle. All we have to do now is turn the resulting grid into a set of guides by heading over to view, guides and using the Make Guides option, and then we can easily start drawing our shapes using the Pen tool. Now that we've seen how easy it is to create a grid in Illustrator, let's switch over to Photoshop and we'll pretty much go through the exact same process. We're going to start by setting up a new document, making sure to set both its width and height to 800 pixels. Since Photoshop doesn't come with its own dedicated rectangular grid tool, we're going to have to take a more manual approach. That being said, grab the Line tool and draw an 800 pixels tall line, which will then adjust by increasing its width to 2 pixels, making sure to align it to the center of the document afterwards. Add the remaining vertical dividers using 13 copies for each side of the document, distancing them at 26 pixels from one another, making sure to select and group them all afterwards using the Ctrl G keyboard shortcut. Once we have our vertical dividers, we can create the horizontal ones using a copy of them, which will then rotate using a 45 degree angle. Quickly adjust the length of the dividers so they end up overlapping and forming a square, and then create a larger group. Next, we're going to adjust the height of the resulting grid by heading over to Edit, Transform, Scale, we will want to uncheck the constraint width and height proportions and then enter a value of 86.602% within the H field. Once we've adjusted the height, we can apply the shear by going to Edit, Transform, Skew and entering a value of minus 30 within the H field. Finally, we can rotate the grid by heading over to Edit, Transform, Rotate we will want to set the angle to 30 degrees. Compared to Illustrator, Photoshop doesn't give us the option of turning a shape into a guide, which means that you need to be careful when drawing your shapes so that they will end up correctly overlapping the resulting grid. As you can see, the process of creating an isometric grid isn't all that hard as some might tend to think, as long as you follow these simple little steps. That being said, I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one.